Hey guys, so today we are checking out an interview with Mary Lou Lord. So for those of you who do not know who she is, she is Kurt Cobain's ex-girlfriend. So Kurt and Mary Lou first met in September of 1991. In fact, it was just a couple of days before Nirvana would release their Nevermind album. Now Kurt had already met Courtney by this stage, but they hadn't got anything together officially. However, Kurt and Courtney would start things up just a few weeks after Kurt met Mary Lou. So he kind of had this deal with Courtney and Mary Lou pretty much going on at the same time. That's what would end up happening. Now, Mary Lou Lord is a busker from New York. She is a musician herself. So she was at a show watching the Melvins. And on her way out of the bar, she saw these three guys trying to get in. And those three guys are, you guessed it, Kurt, Kirst, and Dave. So I went to see the Melvins, and I was leaving the show and um, walking outside, and these three dudes were um, trying to get in. Um, and, you know, they were talking to the, the door guy, bouncer guy. And I was just about to leave, and the guy, I heard him say, what's your name again? And they said, Nirvana. And he's like, and he looks at the paper and he's like, I don't see you on the list. And I was just like, you know, I stopped short, right? There's no one around. Um, I stopped yeah. short from leaving. And I turned around to the guy and I said, you should let them in. And eventually they were let in. Now, Mary Lou had heard of Nirvana. In fact, she had an advanced copy of Nevermind that a friend had given her. And she had been listening to that advanced cassette for the last several months. So she had heard of Nirvana, but she didn't know what they looked like because she hadn't seen any pictures of them or anything like that. So she only knew of the name Nirvana, which is why she insisted that they be let in. But here they were now standing right in front of her, and this is where Kurt and Mary Lou started talking and got to know one another. I didn't know who they were, what they looked like. I didn't know anything. So the dude with the blonde hair came over and he said, hey, thanks for helping us get in. And I was like, oh, the show's been over for a while and they should have let you in, you know, whatever. And um, and so I said, I, I said, oh, you're in the Nirvana band. <laughs> He's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I, I thought he was the roadie, right? Because he, yeah. he just didn't look like the person that I figured was the singer because uh, he yeah. was small and kind of I just didn't picture him to look like that and I said which guy in the band are you and he said I'm the singer and I play guitar and I'm like oh that's cool <laughs> Kurt then asked Mary Lou what music she was into and one of the artists she responded to Kurt with was Daniel Johnston thinking that he wouldn't know who he was but Kurt did in fact, Kurt and Mary Lou shared a very common interest in music and liked all the same bands. The story continues. I was talking to him uh, that night, and I said, you know, what are you guys doing? And he said, well, we've got a show tomorrow. Our record's coming out in a couple of days. And I was like, oh, sh**. I didn't want to say, yeah, I've heard it for the last eight months, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, but I was like, oh, that's, that's cool. You know, when I was just trying to really play it down um and so he was like uh do you want to go upstairs and I was like yeah so we went upstairs and it was quieter up there and we just talked for a really long time and I said where are you staying and he said at the Howard Johnson which was kind of down the street and I said oh do you want to ride home later ride back later and he's like yeah yeah that would be great so we finished up hanging out there, and he said hi to Melvin's guys. And um, we were walking outside, and I started to unlock my, my bike. And he's like, oh, I thought you said you got and I, you're going to give me a ride. you know." And I said, yeah, you sit on the back. <laughs> so he sat on the back rack thing, and I rode him back to the hotel. And we sat on the wall in front of the Howard Johnsons there on Com Ave for hours. You know, the sun came up, and then he said, I really want you to come to the gig tomorrow. Um, and I said, all right. You know, so I, I, the next day, went home, went to sleep, woke up, and then I went to the gig. And then, um, and that's pretty much how I met him. 
Yeah, so I So you went, I went to, to it. The did show. you go like did you go to sound check with them or did you did you meet mm, them after? I know, I think happened? I just tell came, us what happened. I think I just um well, I was really tired. I think I slept all day because I had been up all night until probably seven in the morning shooting the shit with them on the wall in front of the hotel. Mm. Um, so I slept all day and then I woke up and I I went to the show. Um so I think I got there like after the first or second band um, and I saw them play and they were pretty rough around the edges, you know what I mean? They they didn't sound quite like the record, um, mm. but they were great and it was there was so much excitement and electricity in that room um, and uh, yeah, it was, it was cool. And then that night um, after the show, um, we went back to where I was living, which was Billy Ray Wayne's apartment. Uh, so anyway, I lived in this cool apartment. And so that night, um, Kurt came back to the apartment with me. And he's like, Jesus, who lives here? And <laughs> I'm like, well, I do. But it's Billy Ray Wayne's apartment. He's like, Jesus, you know. And there was so many records and there was stuff to do. And it was really fun. And so we just played records. And um, I, like I told you, I, I was a health freak I didn't drink I didn't smoke whatever <laughs> and um and so that night I I drank a little bit and smoked some butts like an idiot you know and because we're hanging out with Kurt Cobain what the fuck, you know mm. um so but <laughs> so we were a little bit buzzed and we listened to records and and then uh he's like I want you to play for me play for me play some Daniel John you know so I started out um playing for him right I played some Daniel Johnston and some Sean Colvin I played Polaroids holy shit oh my god right if you knew what the <laughs> song's about it's just crazy and then and then I looked at him and I started playing some Nirvana right and the record had only come out like that day or it was coming out the next day because they were in Boston for like three days um, mm. So I think this was like September 21st and their record came out September 22nd. So anyway, I started playing all these Nirvana songs that I had been working out to and running to all summer and I had learned them badly, but I knew them. And so I started playing songs off Nevermind and Kurt just looked at me like, what the f because the record wasn't out yet, right? <laughs> Here he is, 3,000 miles away from Olympia, where he lived. Here's this girl, um, you know, that he that he just met and um, playing Nirvana songs, like a lot of them, right? And he just looked at me like, how, how, what the f And I'm like, I know, and I said, please don't tell that I had the advanced copy of your record I really really do <laughs> like your band I know who you are your band I didn't know who you were because I didn't ever see a picture and he's like holy shit. so his mind was blown you know what I mean just oh, like I bet. right it was so crazy um you know oh my I'm, god that was really brave of you to play I'm like I'm a lotto an albino a mosquito my libido yay you know he's just, and he's just sitting oh there if you can god. So there it goes, guys. Some pretty cool stories there from Kurt's ex. Now, they were together for only a very short time, from around September of 91 to November of 91, so just a couple of months. And as I say, Kurt and Courtney had already met prior to this, but had some time apart, but then got back together in around October of 91, which was the same time Kurt was seeing Mary Lou, so he kind of had two girls going at the same time. And he had to figure out what to do, and in the end, of course, he went with Courtney Love. And there's a whole nother story how Courtney Love got pretty vicious towards Mary Lou Lord. She didn't want her anywhere near Kurt, because she wanted him, right? It was like Mary Lou was saying, I'm his girlfriend, and then Courtney was saying, no way, b I'm his girlfriend, stuff like that. And things got pretty heated there, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time. But I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Feel free to drop a like down below if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll catch you on the next one.